Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at our Titan Chain Steel Roller Snow Tire Chains and how they fit on the 2023 GMC Sierra 1500. So there are different tire sizes for your truck. The version we have here is 275-60R20. If you're using our fit guide here at eTrailer.com, you put in your year make model and you select the tire size we give you a list of tire chains that can fit you in our case here this does work as a low profile snow tire chain but it is going to be on a tighter fit you are going to have a larger gap between your rollers which is definitely something worth considering so does it fit yes does it fit the best not as much so these are ladder pattern roller chains and you can see how you have the steel chains but then you also have these individual rollers which should make for a smoother ride. So if you're doing let's say a lot of highway driving or you're driving through your resort and you're parking in a parking lot, this is less invasive on the ground versus your larger chains. The downside to that is you also have less grip on ice so it's good for snow, not as good for ice. Now these are going to be made of a low carbon steel. And what that means is of the different materials used for tire chains, they're good for being hard and biting into let's say snow and like a little bit of ice. The downside is they are more likely to corrode. And with the style of rollers, you can't really fully dry them out because it's a lot more likely for water to still be inside. So I do recommend if you're using them for more than one season, just please double, double check and make sure it's not rusted apart or consider getting a new set of chains for the season. They do store inside of this canvas bag. So it's a little tricky to roll them up, but you do have a good enough amount of space to get them in there. And if you are using it for more than one season, try investing in a plastic tote just to make it easier. The installation is gonna be very simple. Some people like to drive over their chains and then make the connections. Some people like to make the connections without having to drive forward or backward. It really is up to you. This is gonna be a tighter fit when it comes to tire chains though. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna have this large gap underneath or above somewhere on your tire. So if you are gonna be, let's say braking and you're right there where the gap is, you will have a little less traction compared to if you were on the chain. So what I recommend doing is pretty much the instant your chains arrive, go ahead, take them out of the bag, put them on your garage floor and just get familiar with how they look and especially how to install them. That way you know what to do before you're stranded by the side of the road in the snow and in the ice. Now there's different ways for installing tire chains. A lot of people like to drive over them and then make the connections and that's good too. This is gonna be the way though to make it easier for you to test fit or put it onto your truck without having to drive. So you're just gonna lay them onto the floor but also make sure that they're facing the right way. And there's some subtle things to notice. One is gonna be that there is a little bit of a hook on this side but it's flat on the other side. So you want the flat portion touching your tire, the hook away from your tire. And then we're gonna have this larger lever on our furthermost corner away from our vehicle. Once everything looks good, you're ready to try this on your tire. So I grab by the center and I just drape it over the tire. Try to make it even, meaning you want an even amount of chain on each side and then you're gonna make your back connection. Here's our rear connection. Fortunately, there's a lot of space underneath the truck. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna bring this link into that hook from the back. So see how it fits in through there? Getting those stoppers through. Let's use our last link, just because it's gonna be a tight fit. And now we're gonna get our front connection. So do the same thing. It goes in from the back through that larger hole, making sure those stoppers fit into there. And we're gonna try to get as tight of a fit right off the bat here in the front. So once we have that on there, you're then gonna push this lever down and see how it's pulling it in that tension and just get that underneath your cable to secure. If you have any excess, there's another tab there, but in our case, this is gonna be a really tight fit. So this is how we're gonna get our tension. 
Now here we have good tension. You can see how while there is a slight movement and shift of the chains, they're on there, they're not coming off of the tire. Even so, for pretty much any ladder style chain, I still recommend using rubber tensioners because what's going to happen is as you drive around and you hit ice and rocks, there will be shifting of the chains. And that is normal, but at least this way, rather than having to go out all the time and readjust, this will adjust with your chains. And that was how to put your tire chains on your tire. Now you are going to get a set too, so do the exact same thing on the other side. And before you hit the road, I do recommend rolling forward or backward a couple of feet, then hopping out of your truck to just double check that everything is still good. And if it is, that's it, you're ready to hit the road. So if you like steel roller tire chains, this is going to be a fit for your vehicle. If you still just want any type of chain, as long as it's low profile, I do recommend taking a look at the Titan Chain Diamond Snow Tire Chain, just because that will cover more of your tire space. But right here, right now, this was a look at the Titan Chain Steel Roller Tire Chains and how they fit on your 2023 GNC Sierra 1500.